up for that ticket? No, no I, I need to leave today. Oh. Um, oh, wow, that's that's expensive. Um, uh, what's what's the cheapest ticket you got? And to where? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, what time? Uh, I'll need to come up with the rest, but I'll, I'll be there. Thanks. Do you think you're going, my sweet little Selma? I won't let you do this to me anymore. You just wait a minute, Selma, okay? No. Baby, I'm your husband. By the way, I'm staying the weekend at Carla's. Excuse me, are you asking or telling? Dad? I'm okay with it, as long as your mother is. Thanks, Nolan. Such a big help. You know how I feel about Carla and her mother. Why can't you just be cool about this? Dad's cool. Your father and I don't work our butts off to put you through one of the best schools in the state just so you can hang out with some flunky who, let's face it, become one of those sugar babies or whatever they're called. Let's just slow down a minute. Will. Who else will be there? Cindy and Rosa. Right, and I thought it couldn't get any worse. Why do you have... I like it, but I get it. I know how unfair life can seem at 15. Just trust that I have your best interest at heart. Plus, someone needs to enforce the rules around Please, here. Please, Mom. Just this one time. I'll even babysit for the Johnsons like you asked. Showing initiative. I like that. The answer is still no, Willow. I hate you. I know. I push her hard. It's just she has so much potential, Nolan. I won't let her waste it. I've seen it happen before, growing up in an unstructured home. That's why I practically kill myself trying to make sure everything is perfect for this family. You're gonna be late. Call down to Linden or Stonebrook. They should have room for you. No, that, that's okay. I, uh, I should find something better anyways. I can't keep bouncing around like this. You gonna be okay, honey? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be okay. I got one option left. My family. need to take these issues more seriously. <laughs> well, maybe if you spent less time at the country club and more time... <sighs> you try telling my husband to put down the golf club so we can talk. <laughs> 
excuse me. Hey, big sis. Selma. What are you doing here? Uh, what's it been, like, eight... eight years? I stopped keeping track. Again, what are you doing here? Uh, you know, I was, uh, headed out west, maybe California. Uh, uh, truth is, I'm kind of in a jam. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, well, this time it's different. Uh, I, I really need help. Can't wait to hear this one. So all those other times you came to me for help, with all the lying and the stealing, those don't count? Just this one? Please, I'm all ears. You know what? Uh, just forget it. Uh, this was a mistake. You are absolutely right. It was. And if you find yourself at this door again, I won't open it. Can I help you, gentlemen? You seen her? Figure she might have been alone this way. You're from out of state. To give out any information, I'll need the local authorities present with you for the safety of the woman. You're aware of this. We don't have time for this, Mickey. Uh, excuse Ajax. He's very passionate about helping people. Now, you want what's best for the woman, am I right? So what do you say? How about that? I'd be happy to help you. We completely understand. My partner and I are only looking out for our best interest. I promise. We're here to help Selma. So what do you say? I was out. You know, why don't I... Okay, let's try it. Hey, get that back. I got it. Hey, this was fun. Am I right? Tomorrow. Where's Willow? With some friends. You'll never guess who showed up at our doorstep today. Selma. Your little sister, Selma? Do you mind putting that down for just one second? Sorry. Why didn't she stay for dinner? I've told you the history that Selma and I have. She was kind of flighty or something like that. <laughs> we haven't talked in seven or eight years. After your mom? Shortly after. When mom got sick, partying all night would disappear for days on end. I was left to take care of our dying mom on my own. You both were quite young. Selma was just a few years older than Willow is now. Willow is safe and sound in bed. I think it was a good thing to let her stay out of bed. My sister. Well, if I'm being honest, if she showed up to face you, she probably really needs the help. Do this time. 
after all these years, I guess you haven't changed much. No, you haven't either. Little Selma. Free spirit everyone loved. Wild child that could do no wrong. Got you pretty far in life, huh? Look, I just had to get out of a bad situation, okay? I needed a place to crash for a couple nights. That happened. Look, I really appreciate you finding me. I'm sure you mean well. But uh, it'll be all right, Maddie. Maddie? No one's called me that in years. Uh, I gotta get going. For what it was worth, it was good seeing you. so big, I can barely recognize her. Selma. I need to know you won't bring anything bad into my home. Oh. <laughs> I got as far away from all that as I possibly could. I just need a place to, you know, sort myself out for a couple days before I go out west. California, you mentioned? Yeah, maybe. You know, feels like a fresh start. Looks like you've done well for yourself. Always knew that you would. It's all Nolan, really. No. I can tell this This is all you. I'm happy for you, Madison. Well, I made up the guest bedroom. It has its own bathroom, so make yourself at home. This means so much to me. Thank you. my permission you dragged me out of that bar in front of everyone you psycho and who do you think is gonna do a damn thing about it love it. Well, you can totally have it. What's going on here? Just some girl talk. We've been chatting all morning, getting to know each other. Let's please, please talk some more later, okay? Yeah, of course. You're so cool. I wish you were here more. <laughs> as much as I try to deny it, there's a lot of you in that young lady, and it scares the hell out of me. I wouldn't worry too much. She's a good girl. You did real good. So I am heading out to run some errands. I thought you might want to come along, pick up some stuff for your trip. Uh, you know what? I think I'd like to stay if that's okay. I haven't really had a chance to sit and be. Totally understand. I don't think anyone will be home for a couple hours, so take a bath, enjoy yourself. <laughs> this is, this is good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is.
Hello? Hey, Maddie, is that you? We got some debts to pay, and the payment is substantial. Miss mm. Vaughn, there's nowhere to run, little rabbit. Let's just go home.
impressed. Yeah, I'm tired of all this running around. Let's watch her out. Make the call. The hell is going on, so There's those men in my house. You gotta keep driving away, okay? Trust me. Absolutely not. We are going straight to the police station now. They are the police, Maddie. What kind of trouble are you in? The worst kind. Thank God you got Willow to your parents' house. Can you please stay there for a couple days so the police get this all straightened out? No. I left my phone. When are you coming home? I'm going straight to the police now. And Zoma? I don't care. I, I don't. She knowingly put my family in jeopardy. She's also your family. Nolan? You there? You better find a TV. Where'd you get these clothes? Some. What have you done to me? You're right, Maddie. You should turn yourself in. They don't want you, okay? They just want me. It'll be safer that way. I'll leave. Some of my face is plastered all over the news. Why don't you go tell them everything, okay? Just, 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 you know what? Tell them I, I kidnapped you. You can do that. I asked you if you were going to bring anything bad into my home, and you looked me in the eyes. I am so stupid. I'm not you. Selma? Selma. Selma, what are you saying? God, I had no other choice, Maddie. It was only a matter of time before he killed me. You know, I, I had no other way out. Oh, God, I was going to tell you when I first got to your house, but you were so upset, and I just couldn't, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Uh, let's... They are bad cops in a vile drug ring. Okay, and my husband turned out to be the leader. I know how dangerous they are. I'm the villain now. And I've seen too much. Nowhere safe. Okay, uh... I know you've gotten yourself into some trouble before, but you're no murderer, I know that. I know somewhere I can take you, till we get this sorted out. I'll drop you off. You'll be safe there. Please, please. You okay? Yeah. Stupid dream. How long was I out? The whole drive. This place. Nolan's brother Billy's kind of an off the grid hunter type of guy. He um, lets us stay here whenever we want. It's safe. Uh, there's canned goods in the kitchen, extra clothes in the closet. Uh, cell phones don't work here, but there's a landline. I can't thank you enough. Well, I... I should... I should get going. Why don't you just sleep for a bit? Just even for an hour. You drove all night. Uh... Yeah. Yeah.
I don't understand. How is she wanted? It's only for questioning, Mr. Thompson. <sighs> Someone breaks into our home, trashes the place. Now my wife is wanted for questioning? And she's a cheer mom. This is ridiculous. If you hear from your wife, please call us. In the meantime, we can add extra patrol down your street. Yeah, thanks. Makes me feel real safe. Dad, what is... We're figuring a few things out. It's complicated, Willow. Everyone keeps making fun of them, calling them Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Whatever that means. You know your mom. She'd never do anything to hurt this family. Go get the rest of your stuff so we can head back to Grandma's. The two sisters have fled the area, according to authorities. Selma Carrera is now wanted in association with the shooting of Jason St. Clair, a respected police officer. Beautiful, isn't it? Breathtaking. I wanted to say I'm sorry. Selma. You're apologizing to me after what I just put you and your family through. I've come to realize over the past few days why I've been so hard on my daughter. I let you down. I abandoned you when you needed me the most. And now Willow is paying for my mistakes. Yeah, well, as I recall, I didn't... Really, it's all mom's fault. Old cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't easy growing up in that house, was it? I mean, so I'm sorry. You're a good person. Do some, do some bad choices and some bad luck. Which is why what I'm about to do hurts me more than anything. What are you talking about? Rusty. Hey, Madison. Hey, Rusty. I trusted you. It's for your own good. What are you gonna do, keep running the rest of your life? I failed you once. I'm not doing it again. You don't get it. They will get to me anywhere. It doesn't matter if I'm in some police holding cell. They will get to me. Hey, can we please just calm down? I've known Rusty for a long time. I trust him. He can help us. He just killed me. <sighs> can we at least talk about this? Hey, Selma. I'm not arresting anyone today. At least not here. Quite a story. You don't have to believe me. I don't expect you to. No, I didn't say that. I didn't. That's that's just a whole lot. So unravel a whole lot. Now, I know your sister. I trust her and her family, but I don't know you. She's no. I never filed anything, because what's the point? He had everyone convinced I was some sort of junkie. Look, all I have is my word. Obviously, she's not. I and mean, she was protecting herself. 
Who wouldn't make that up? Well, that's not quite how this works, Madison. So what do we do? Will you stay here? You won't run. Yeah, I can do that. I'm being serious, Selma. I'm not talking about losing my job. This is aiding and you to sit tight. Hey, Madison. And I got your word, too. Well, I, I need to get home to my family. Willow has practice. I'm not involved in any of this. The APB, that's out on you, says otherwise. So I need you to stay with her. I'm in the PTA, for God's sake. Listen, I understand. Just let me check a few things out, see what I can quietly dig up, but it might take a day or two. That might be all I have. Why are you doing this for us? My dad, he's a cop. My granddad, too. Most all of us are good people. And I'm just real tired of the small few destroying that. I'm getting out of here. It's not safe. Rusty. Once they catch wind of this, they're gonna kill Rusty us. Rusty will help us. They'll eat him alive. Move, Maddie. I gave Rusty my word. I shot a cop, okay? When are you gonna get that through your thick skull? I am not letting you leave. Get out of my way. We're not kids anymore. I said no. I'm warning you for the last time. <laughs> Sometimes he'd leave me handcuffed to the bed for days. It just pains my heart. I just, I had no idea, Selma. I completely belonged to him. You know, when you left and I was all alone with Mom, Things are bad. She was real bad. Emotionally, the drinking. It was almost as if she kind of just held it all together until you moved out. And then let it completely unravel. That's why I eventually I did. But I'm so tired of running. I've been running from everything since I was a kid. We'll fix this. We'll go to a lawyer, the press, right when Rusty says it's okay to. I don't even care what happens. I just won't let them hurt me anymore. You better have Did you get anything? Yeah. No, I got something. Right around here. Nice. Okay, this time we come prepared. How does this cat and mouse game? We get out of here, we're gonna get him. You know I got the key that's gonna set you free. We're gonna leave.
I figured you all could use some groceries. Oh, you might need it. Can't creep up on people like that, Rusty. Come on in. Some help? So where's Madison? Uh, still sleeping, I guess. So did you find anything? Anything at all? Well, the bad news. Right now, you're a cop killer. And that means there are a lot of folks gunning for you. But the good news is that there's someone down in Fullerton County who's got suspicions of their own. And we've been swapping calls. Well, do you trust them? They're a friend of a friend. So, so far, no reason not to. Not something, I guess. Look, this internal business is messy. It takes time. I don't want you to get your hopes up. No, uh, I don't get my hopes up. Oh, um, <clears throat> how do you know Madison? Oh, college. We lost touch, you know, as people do. And then by chance ran into her and the family a few summers ago now. Friends in college, huh? Well, I'd be lying if there wasn't a little bit of a crush in the beginning. Uh, believe it or not, I wasn't all this back then. I was a pimply-faced pup away from home for the first time. And Madison, she helped me through some really tough times. She became my best friend. So I should trust you. Well, when she called, I wanted to help. They're cops. They get it much worse. Is that what you want? You got a death wish? I want to do the right thing. Yeah, well, I trusted a cop once. Didn't turn out too well. <laughs> well, look at that. I haven't seen one of those on you. What? A smile. <laughs> Looks like you're having some trouble over there. I should probably go check on that. Uh, yeah, no, I gotta get going too. Good swing. I gotta go, okay? Bye. How's Nolan? I have to find out if they were safe. Why don't you just go home, Maddie, okay? Just go to your family. I was up all night freaking out. Almost left about three times, even sat in the car for a while. Look, they just want me, so if you get out now, I promise, you'll never see them again. No, no, I've made up my mind. We are riding this out. To this out? Uh, <laughs> truth is, truth is, I don't, I don't want to go home. <clears throat> Come again? Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. I don't understand. I work so hard to make everything look perfect on the outside. But the inside. I've seen the inside. It still looks pretty perfect. It's not. I... I feel bad even saying it because I'm trying to fix things. I know. No, no one's been checked out for years. My, my daughter, 
She hates me. You should see how much fun they have together when I'm not around. Maddie, you're their rock. Sometimes a rock's got to be hard. I've been too hard. <laughs> Sometimes downright mean. Yeah, just habits. Can't even look myself in the mirror some days. <sighs> Sitting in that car last night, I realized I need to repair a few things, starting with you. Or um, I, uh, I won't move on. Maddie, we're good. I am not leaving. So there. Oh. We have a little problem. Some tea. Two of the two missing sisters. Well, that was just supposed to be another phone call. Yeah, well, they're here. Put them back in your office for you. All right. Hold my calls. Sure. Deputy Rusty Harris. Well, we appreciate the calls, Deputy. Call me Rusty. <clears throat> Rusty, look, there's a... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I was speaking with an officer, Bianca Proudfoot. Who are you guys? We're the guys they call when these incidences arise. If I may ask, why is a sheriff's deputy from a small town calling in on matters of state police? Well, I heard a rumor. It's my duty to follow up. It's an officer Jason St. Clair was shot. Do you know what else was in a rumor? He was shot by his wife. I mean, that's love for you, am I right? Do you know what got him? It was the bullet. So, I'm gonna share with you his wife's file. And uh, let me tell you, it is a doozy of a rap sheet. Go ahead. Manipulation, stealing, goes on. Look, this was one of our own, brother. So we're gonna follow every lead. And that's why we're here. <coughs> this, this is your duty. So don't you forget that. This was fun. I got my inhaler and a little something.
going with him. I'm going like... What do you want? Stop. Right there. I wanted to tell you you're pretty. Can you help an old fella buy a drink? Yeah. The bottom? Come on. Come on. Get going. Thank you, miss. You're too kind. Buy some food with that, Bob. What are you doing out here? And where's Madison? I don't know if she left. We came down here to pick up a few things. Oh, is that so? This is all a misunderstanding, okay? Everything with you seems to be some kind of misunderstanding. <sighs> Madison needed her inhaler. Come on, just get to the car before somebody sees us. Don't do that. I'll bring her home. She's fine, Madison. She's fine. Okay. I told you to stay put. If you got something to say, why don't you say it, Rusty? Have you told me everything? What? I saw your file, all right? <laughs> so you probably think I'm some kind of monster now. Well, I'll tell you this much. It doesn't look good. Some things I'm not proud of, okay? I partied. I got part of their plan to keep me a prisoner. You want me to believe you over an official file? Really? Don't do this, Rusty. Please. I'm a small town cop. My number one call is cattle blocking the road. I'm trying to do the best I can here. I never asked you to help me. My sister did. I never asked for any of this. What happened? I thought I told you girls to stay put. Yeah, I know. I needed to get something. What happened? Madison, how well do you know your sister? What are you saying? It sounded pretty clear. Yeah, I am. Look at all that's happened. I'll take her word for it. And Rusty, you should take mine. She trusted you. Do you know how fragile she is right now? This is my job, and I have to walk away from certain things. Don't give me that. There's right, there's wrong, and that's it, Rusty. I know you understand what that means. You tell me right now you look at that girl and you see a murderer? Honestly, right now, I don't know what to think. Then screw you, Rusty. You want to go inside and arrest her? That's fine. Get ready to arrest me as well. Tama, honey? Tama. <sighs> Rusty! What was wrong? She's, she's gone. What are you talking about? She's, she's not in the house. She's not in the house? Madison? Rusty. But no, I gotta go find her. She couldn't have gotten far. I'm coming with you. If there's anything someone knows how to do is how to run. No, I need you to stay here and... Hey. Hey, Rusty. 
I'm sorry I snapped at you. I, I know you're a good man. Please just, just find her and keep her safe. I will. Hey, Darlene, I told you, you gotta stop working so late. who did this to me, I know it. I thought you said they had something of yours. And Maddie's all alone. Give me your phone. It's in my back pocket. It's right here. going on they found us i'm with rusty i'm coming to you right now maddie's okay what did they mean i don't know but it's someone they, they did say something else what very special For backup, we can go after backup. Them. You said it takes hours for them to get here. This, we just have to wait. I'm not waiting. Uh, 
address. Deputy Rusty Harris, at six four three five Anchor Street. Officer request him back. <laughs> what happened? Rusty, 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 look at me. Look at me. He's fine. Okay. All right, help us on the way, but we have to go now. Um, I think they have Willow. What are you talking about? Caller. What? You go out there, you'll be on your own. Yeah, well, they just want me, and I don't care what happens to me anymore. I care. So hard? I'm here now, okay? I'm all yours. You just let her go. Selma, straight to business. Even after all these years. Don't do that. I'm not the same person. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> and I really never, never begged you for your smarts. Happy to have your approval. I think we're finished, dude. safe to say you know damn well what we capable of. We're gonna make your life live in hell. Everybody's still gonna think we're the good guys. But Selma, I think our business has only been with you. I mean, they didn't even need to get involved if you would have just um, known your place. Go, Maddie. I'm sorry I ever brought this into your home. Selma, Selma, I can't leave you. I'm okay with this. Go. Go. Now what? Oh, we go home. I can't have you running around with all the things you know about us. If you wouldn't just... Just what? Huh? What, are you just gonna forget about it all? About Jason? Your husband? Because we haven't forgotten. Are you just gonna leave her here? Mom! No, 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 I'm not. I'm not leaving her. Listen to me, you have your learner's permit, okay? Listen, I want you to take the car and drive. Don't stop. I'm scared. I believe in you. You are a bright young woman. I just wish I told you that more often. Come on.
<laughs> you look like you've just seen a ghost. Shut up. And just like everything else. You screwed that up too, didn't you? Come on, I already told But we're gonna have so much fun together. Okay? Yeah, we are. I'm gonna do everything that I can. Just to make sure that our love feels that much more intense this time, okay? I'm gonna go finish up with the boys, and then you and me, we're going home. Time's a drop off. This week or next week? This week. 7 30. Who's picking it up? Next week. This week's? This week. John. How about next week? Next week. Who's picking it up next week? No words are being picked up. This week or next week? This week. 7 30. How about next week? Next week. What time is next week? It's great day stuff, though, right? Yeah, it's a clean package. Check that out. Come on, it's nothing. Let's go. Maddie, this is mine. That's not yours. Where the hell is Willow? I had him drive away. All right. All right. So I'm guessing we're on foot? I'm afraid so. Where's your inhaler? It's in the car. Maddie, I need you to calm down, okay? Oh, breathe. Mom, please, Mom. Maddie, look at me. Mom, breathe. Don't be so 
so dramatic, okay? The three of you, you're, you're gonna be in a ditch soon enough anyways. You worthless cowards. This is not over. Whatever you say, sweetheart. Can we shut them up now? It's getting old. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take care of this. We'll finish up the hole. Okay. Well, I guess our time has come to an end now. And then. Let you die, Maddie. <laughs> How? Huh? How, Selma? My guys are just right outside. I'm gonna use you. Don't try anything. Hey, yo. Easy. I need the inhaler in the car. Go. Now, get the inhaler in there. Slowly put it in my hand. My brother. Be at a hospital. Right, and miss all this? <laughs> Forget it. How you holding up? Just some bumps and bruises, I'll live. I met your sister. <laughs> I never mentioned her. Yeah, she'll never let me live this down. You did good, Selma. 
be all good. Look, you let me know if you ever need anything, all right? Deputy. Could use a ride. Come on. So I was thinking I could go skiing with my friends over winter break. What do you think? Well, it's cool with me if it's cool with your father. Oh, what? <laughs> hey. 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 Hey, guys. Hey. 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 Have to save room for dessert. Oh, my God. Can we brought some wine? for you. I want to thank you, Maddie. I just hate that you're leaving <laughs> now that I have you back. Well, look on the bright side. There will be a lot less trouble around here. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. And no matter where I am, I will always be your sister. And that's forever. 